All right, folks, Positive Paul here, a.k.a. Pain in the Ass Paul. It is Tuesday morning, November 24th, 2020. Of course. Now, these are the type of videos I should be doing, and I've done them in the past. And I'm not very, you know, good at doing Bible studies. But I, I apparently do come up with some good ideas once in a while going over Scripture that attracts the attention of some of our watchmen who, who you know, would, wouldn't dare, dare come on my channel. But a while back, I did a quick study on Peter's second epistle, chapter 3. And amazingly so, uh, no, no one's watched it. I think it barely has. It, it didn't even look... I, last time I checked, I think it had like 20-something uh, odd views on it. This is going back maybe two years ago. So who knows? I'm sure it's still up there. Isn't that amazing, folks? I can do a video, not mention reptilians, not mention the phonies, not mention anything, and try to just do a normal video that, you know, share ideas and hope that if, if I'm wrong, someone will correct me. And it has yet to happen. Why is that, folks? So, here, here's, here's, here's what I want to tell you. We know that when Christ lays his cross on you, no matter who's going to follow him, he's going to take care that no matter how much it hurts, folks, it's going to never hinder us. Now, look, we're not ruined by being in the world because we're stuck here. We, we, we got to, you know, somehow find a way to get through each day. So, we already know that walking in the Spirit, walking through the Word that lives within us, it seems that you know, you're, you're actually able to navigate through this maze of, of a chicanery, right? Every turn, there's a huckster. You know, it's the, what, what is it? It's the old shell game out there in uh, New York City. Remember seeing the... Uh, Old videos from the early 1900s, you know, with the young kids on the street holding up the newspaper, out there playing in the fire hydrants, kicking the ball around, and then you've got the ones that can do the old shell game. You know, well, what's behind door number two? Well, here's what's behind door number one. When you open up door number one and you've seen the light as opposed to the darkness, you're going to understand that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now, quite obvious that, uh, let's just, you know, we, we can call them the enemy. Let, let's just, uh, let's just say, hey, the, the, the people that have another way of thinking, you know, these uh, people uh, that like to follow, the Pied Piper, those type, they, they, they we've, we've so far down the road that without uh, heavenly intervention, folks, we know, we know that uh, we're, we're, we're hitting a dead end, a brick wall. But yet, this group who, at this point, have us pretty outnumbered, really believe that 
there, there, it just, there's no way that this current way of life could ever end. Now, yes, there are some, you know, minor changes. All right, we know that. We're trying to deal with the global pandemic. And it, it doesn't matter what all, you know, the machinations are of whether it's real or it's not real or, uh, you know, just on and on and on. And see, that's part of what distracts us and takes us away from figuring out that, yes, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing that, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Now, here's, here's, here's one of the things that you men out there can relate to this. When we get together and we're all, you know, just, you know, having a good time, you know, shucking it up, we know that our conversation at times can become quite lewd. And I tell you, it's, it's to the point where even the most um, the, the most godly person on planet Earth at some time do to this, uh, if you want to call it, you know, programming, call it that, will somehow let one slip. You know, whether it be a cuss word or... Uh, it, it, look, you know where I'm going with this. So our conversations between each other have gotten to the point where they, the, the, the enemy has figured out a way to make us be our own worst enemies by shoving all this garbage in our face as it con concerns entertainment, as it concerns, you know, Hollywood. And... That, you know, obviously their agenda is, is at least to, they know they're not going to catch everybody, all right? They can't catch all of us off guard to buy into their, uh, you know, malarkey. But they do know that most of the population will, now what, what's, look, what's the one thing, all right? When, when you're, you're with people and you're, you know, you're in a setting, let's just say uh, a Christmas party. You know, every, everybody's been to a Christmas party at their, their job. And what's the one thing that they usually have at the end? It's the grab bag thing, right? The, the what, what do they call it? The mystery present uh, giveaway? I think there's a term for it. And it, look, it's escaping me right now. But... You, you want to be the one guy that has the coolest present that, that was given away. Or, or gal. Come on, folks. Don't, don't leave. You know, look. We know the women are in charge around here. But you want to be the one guy that, you know, the next, next uh, Monday come after the party, they're going to be talking about your present. All right? We got to get away from that mentality of... Of uh, the, I was gonna say holier than thou, but that's that's not what I'm looking for. It, it seems like the the society we live in is based on it's all competition, right? Best man wins. It's the it's the the one hundred percent standing operating procedure of the capitalist. These fat cats on Wall Street. Now, you know, I'm going to do some personal stories about New York City here coming up. But 
If you've been around these Wall Street fat cats, and trust me folks, I have, their, their conversation is much different than the average Joe. Hey, whatever happened to Joe the plumber? What does he think about this whole Trump nightmare? But let's uh, get back to the point. Now, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling, but I'm just trying to do a good video, folks. You know, I do this a lot of times off the top of my head. And I just, it, 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 it really, I don't understand why YouTube would censor, you know, take, take my, my Bible study videos out of the, uh, the flow, the flow on YouTube. How do they do that, folks? You know? I mean, look, I've just, I've done two of my most devastating videos concerning, you know, the phonies. That, I, I mean, look, I, I don't know, you know, maybe I can top, top them. And uh, I do have some things in the works, but do you understand this is what we need to focus on? That, look, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And I keep asking the question, you know, this, you know, according to Joel 2.28 2, 2 and Acts 2.17, the pouring out of the Spirit, what, when, when do we go to the next step that that's been exhausted, folks? Do you see what I'm saying? There's all these people out there that, I, here, here's my take on it, that I have to tell myself that some obscure person can come on YouTube and they really did receive the word of the Lord. The Spirit was poured upon that person because the Lord is going to look for these people. I know that. So I don't, like I said, you know, all across the board, whether it's, it's you know, trying to figure out where the truth is, I give everybody at least, you know, one shot. Because, I mean, look, it's obvious we, each of us have two different sets of eyes. You know, our peepers, our, our peepers are not looking at the same thing. But when we look at this scripture, you, you, you can't deny it. So here's, here's, here's what I want to say. In the beginning of chapter 3, Peter's second epistle, we famously know about the mockers and scoffers that are going to come in the last days. But here, folks, look, this is what we need to do. This is the takeaway. So hopefully this video is coherent and, you know, maybe it's going to reach out to somebody. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, meaning, look, if you followed this whole conversation this holy conversation and you followed it and it all computed you're gonna know these things before so beware lest also being led away with the air of the wicked that's their job to lead you away with their air not our air and fall from your own steadfastness now you know essentially what's that what what's that is telling you is that, hey, look, you know, you, you don't be Lot's wife. Don't be looking back. Forget about the wicked. Yes, you know, it, some of them, they might be able to turn back. But do you understand that some cannot, once you're in this so deep concerning the Satanist, that there is no turning back? So this is why... He is long-suffering to us, word. But for the people that are really suffering out there, look, some people are at the end of their rope. Now, looking at my situation, I might fit in that category, right? Because look, I still, I, I, need, I need money. I got no way to make money, you know? Unless I go out there in the street, I guess, and whatever. Do a little Salvation Army type thing. But again, you know, you, we have to live in this world. But having Christ with, inside us, trying to figure out this scripture, 
is, is one tool in our toolbox to back off the wicket. So with that being said, folks, I hope this sits well with everybody. And don't worry, it's coming, folks.